on, I thought I'd go live on a Sunday for some Sunday stretches. Um, you're either joining me now, I've put it on last minute, so um, you're either, if you're joining me now, hi, say hello. If not, um, you can look back at this workout at an appropriate time to you. Hope you're having a good Sunday so far. As you can see, I've not even got my trainers on today. Um, so we're going to just go through some of they're my favourite stretches um, and I'll just show you, uh, we're going to hold them a little bit longer. The important thing about stretching, as you can see, I've got my feet marching already, is that your muscles have got to be warm before you start stretching. Um, so we're just going to have a little bit of a warm up, no jumping about, two or three minutes here, um, just moving your body and just getting that blood flow going and your muscles a little bit warmed up. You might come, come straight from a run around the block into this in, in which case great if you've been gardening or anything like that or keeping active that's fine but it's really important that you don't go um into your stretches um if you've just been sat down doing nothing okay so just we're just gonna add a, a little bit of movement no jumping just really reaching it out as always if anything doesn't feel comfortable um don't do it i will try and get you to because we're holding the stretches a little bit longer we're Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm still here. Um, we're going to breathe through the stretches. Um, just taking your arms up. Give them a big circle. We'll do a few of these. Um, hopefully the stretches, you'll feel your muscles stretching, but they shouldn't feel uncomfortable. Okay. So big circle of your arms. Nice deep breaths as you're doing so. Good work. We'll do three more of these. We're doing some standing stretches, some lying on the mat. Okay, and just taking it side to side. We've done these stretches. You don't have to do them with such force and energy, but just really do get your body moving through so it's nice and warm. Good, and taking your heel to your bum will take your arms across your chest. Especially if you've got bare feet on, um, like me, or not your trainers on. I do advise you to take your trainers off when you're stretching. You might be able to use your feet a little bit more. Okay, so you should be feeling a little bit warmed up. Get, give everything a shake about. Um, I'm not a yoga instructor, so there isn't really a flow to the stretches that I'm going to be doing. Um, as I said, I'm just going to go through some of my favourite stretches. Hopefully you'll find something that you really like doing um, and that you can really feel those muscles stretching. Okay, so we're going to start with just reaching up, nice deep breath. I will keep changing angles to show you, but if you just keep facing me all the time. So nice big stretch up, really deep breath. And from here, taking it from your hips, just want you to go down and hang there. Now your feet, hold this position, I'll try and talk you through it. So your feet should be um, hip width apart. If you need to bend your legs here, if your hamstrings are tight, that's great. Just really hold it down. Let your whole upper body flop over. Just really floppy. You're not trying to reach down. Um, you're just trying to relax into it. On each inward breath, on each outward breath, sorry, you should feel your body relax into it more. You should feel it right down the back of your legs here. Okay. Nice deep breath. Just hold that stretch. We are going to hold the stretches about 30 seconds each, each time. Okay, so from here, if you can put your hands on the floor, remember you can need, use bend your knees to get into that position. I'm going to step it back and then trying to push back into your heels, lifting your hips high into the stretch. Again, relax your head. The stretch, imagine you can feel someone pulling under here, lifting you up from this point here. Okay, so really push back into your heels. You might not be able to get them on the floor, that's fine. If you can feel it too much in your calves, just pedal out your feet. Okay, take some really deep breaths and push into the heel of your hands all the time, relaxing your neck. So you're getting a good stretch down the back of your legs again. And also through your back, just hold that position. Really breathe nice and deeply. Don't be rushing your stretches. Um, the more time you can hold each stretch, the better. 
Okay, so from this position, we're gonna put your knees down. Now be careful when you've been in downward dog position, sometimes you get a bit of a head rush, so make sure all these moves are nice and slow as well. Okay, so from here, we're gonna take it into um, a quad stretch. So putting one foot in front of the other, We've done this one before, but I'm just going to show you a couple of, um, to increase the stretch a little bit more. So your aim is to push this hip forward here. Now it's a really good stretch down the front of um, your thigh here. I'm going to reach up at the same time and really sink your hips into it. Great stretch if you suffer from um, tight hips, um, tight hip flexor muscles. Breathe and really reach into it. Now, sometimes when you're doing stretches, yeah, you feel initial stretching, but you also feel like you're working hard as well. It shouldn't be painful, but you should keep your heart rate going, especially these stretches, quite full body power stretches. Okay, um, as a variation to that, I started on the wrong side again, doing adding the twister, taking your arm around, reaching round and twisting round. Then it brings your lower back, you get a bit of a lower back twist. And stretch, try and keep your shoulders back. Sorry, I'm facing the wrong way. I'll turn around for the next one. Okay, holding this in the twist. Keep breathing. Really focus on that breath. I'm going to keep saying keep breathing. Really deep breaths. Okay, so we're going to go on to the other side. Will I be facing the right way now? No. I can't remember which way I started now. Which way did I start? Ah, there you go. Okay, I'm the right side now. So switch you, switch you the way. It didn't take much to confuse me now. Okay, so you're pushing this hip forward. You're keeping your shoulders back. And you're breathing nice and deeply. You can reach up here and really sink those hips forward. Make sure this back foot, hey, this is why it's handy if you're not wearing trainers. Um, this back foot's flat on the floor and relax. Reach up nice and strong again. On each outward breath, just sink into it a little bit more. Are you all feeling calm on a Sunday? Have you got chaos going on around you? My kids have gone out for a couple of hours. Woo! Um, I've just got the dog, so it's quite peaceful here. Okay, so coming back, I'll show you the stretch from the um, right way, I think. Yeah, stretching round, reaching round, twisting your shoulders round. And keeping your shoulders back and your head um, tall. So you're standing tall into it, but you're just in, um, having a bit of a lower back twist there. I think I've done it the right way. I'm getting a bit confused. You get the gist. I'm not in a yoga instructor. I can't. Um... Okay, we'll hold this just for another few seconds. Makes a change, not jumping around, doesn't it? We'll be back to that tomorrow, don't worry. Okay, kneeling on the floor, we're just going to a lower back stretch. So, again, I've done this one before with you, stretching your arms out. Now, you might feel com more comfortable with your knees under your chest on this one, or you might want to open your knees up a little bit and drop your chest. However you'll feel that stretch more, you may be able to get your forehead on the floor here. Okay, if you can hold that position, Try and get your forearms on the floor as well. Maybe if you can't go all the way with these stretches, just go to where you can. Don't try and push it, just breathe into it, okay? Nice lower back stretch here. Okay, so stretching your shoulders, you're holding your body in exactly the same place, but you're just pressing your fingers into the floor. And a big deep breath, really press them down. You should feel that stretch change the minute you press your fingers down, um, all down the back of your arms and your shoulders. Great, great stretch. It eases your lower back off. It really does stretch your arms. Again, breathe into it. Okay, we'll slowly come up here. Okay, we're going to go on to, just onto your feet now. So with your feet nice and wide, um, taking your feet nice and wide. Um, I'm hoisting my leggings up again. Okay, just give your shoulders a roll. Taking your feet wide, um, what I want you to do, I'll show you from a side view, um, just lift, lowering from your hips, okay? So it's like the hinge on your hips. And just take it down as far as you can here, okay? You might wanna go a bit lower with your legs. Just holding it here. 
Um, walking your hands back a little bit. Again, you might want to go along with your legs. You might not. You might need to bend your legs slightly. That's fine. Okay, just holding this position here. You should feel a really good stretch down your inner thighs on this. Remember to relax your upper body. It's at this point that if you go to yoga, you can drop into a headstand. Unfortunately, after about five million days of practicing my headstands, I still can't do one. Trust me, when I can do a headstand, I will be showing you all. <laughs> okay, so you should feel a really good stretch down your inner thigh on this. And with, as with the others, just walk your hands out and just step your feet in a little bit. Just wiggle your toes in. Come up nice and slowly, bend your knees and then roll up. Um, because if you had your head forward, you might get a little bit of head rush. Okay, I'm going to face you on this one. So you're taking your feet um, wide again. You're bending to the side now. You should feel a really good stretch um, on this one. Um, to increase that stretch, we're going to push your arm out. I'm just, you can rest your elbow on here. Um, just stretching. You should feel it right down your side. Make sure you're not stretching up. You're stretching out so there's that like continuous line right down your body, resting here on your knee. If you want to, you can take your arm down. Just keep that continuous line. Keep your shoulders back, just watch you're not leaning forward into it. Again, breathe really deep. Should be feeling a lot warm still doing these stretches. And then coming up nice and slowly. Okay, switching onto the other side, so bending your knee. You can hold it here if you want to, rest your elbow down. Holding it there or reaching out, just wiggling across. Just reaching out again, watch, make sure you've got that line, diagonal line, really stretching out your fingers. Keeping this shoulder back. And if you want to, you can drop there. Keep that diagonal line. Okay, we're gonna hold it just a little bit longer here. I hope you're still breathing nice and deeply. I've got a couple more stretches after this. And that's it. Oh, I've taken longer than I thought. Okay, slowly coming up, just bend your knees and then walk your feet back in. Good work. Okay, so we're gonna take it onto the floor again. And another great, great stretch, really simple one for your hamstrings, um, reaching up, really get that good stretch forward. And again, you're pivoting from your hips here, so leaning forward. Now, am I in, in view? Should wriggle back, okay. Now, different variations of this, you might only be able to reach here, that's fine. Just breathe through it on an each out of breath, just try and lower yourself down a little bit more, okay? You might be able to reach further. Don't try and push and reach like that. What you want you to think about is lengthening your spine to reach rather than reaching out, okay? And relaxing your head, oh God. I used to, a few weeks ago, I used to be able to touch my head on my legs. Not today. Okay, just hold that position wherever it feels comfortable. Breathe deep and on each outward breath, just lower into it a little bit more. Don't jolt it, don't pause it, don't push it so it's painful. You should just feel a really good stretch right down the back of your body and in your lower back. Relax your neck. And then though, on each outward breath, just lower it down a little bit more. It's amazing if you spend a long time in a certain pose and you really are breathing deep, how much further you can increase your flexibility, your range of movement within that stretch. So if you've got the time, um, this is a really good stretch just to increase. Look, my head's, you'll, my head's getting slightly lower on each outward breath, but don't push it. I'm nearly there. I'm gonna do practice this after because I'm, I'm annoyed that I can't reach there anymore. Okay, and again, slowly roll up. Okay, final stretch we're gonna do. We're gonna lie down. Um, we've done this one before again. Taking your elbows out to the side. 
taking your knees off the floor and dropping them across. Now breathe deep, make sure your shoulders and your elbows and your upper back are still on the floor. You should feel a really good stretch on the side of your, your um, one side of your chest and knees. Again, breathing deep into it. If you want to, you can increase that stretch by taking your foot across. Make sure your elbow is still on the floor. If it isn't, just adjust this leg where you can really feel that stretch, but you're keeping your elbows. Then you're going for that twist and you should be feeling on each inward breath, you should feel that stretch across your chest. Holding it there. One more big deep breath. And then taking your feet across to the other side. And then just taking, again, either you can leave them there. If you can't get them all the way down to the floor, that's fine. Just try and get them to the furthest point that you can. But keeping your elbows down and you'll feel that stretch. Just go um, wherever it feels comfortable. Take that foot across if you can. My weights are in the way, so I can't. Good, make sure that shoulder and elbow are still on the floor. Nice deep breaths here. Good, last deep breath in. And then just take your feet, ooh, kicked away there. Take your feet back to centre, okay, and then, I'm not going to go into meditation because, um, again, I'm not qualified to do that. But just have a, if you've got time after your stretches, just take, even if it's two or three minutes, just to lay down. And I hope you haven't switched off now. I'm going to do this anyway, just for my own benefit, if, if you're not watching. Okay, relax your body. Breathe really deep. Listen to your breath. Going inwards, breathing in and breathing out. Now it's sometimes, and in particular at the moment, it's really, really difficult to switch off because everybody's just got so much whizzing around the mind, loads of like having loads of tabs in your brain open all at the same time, thinking this, that, and the other. But honestly, I I never ever used to be able to meditate at all because I had too much going on, but I've really, really practiced. And meditation is practice just like everything else. Practice relaxing your mind. Just try five minutes every day, relaxing your body fully and just breathing and trying to clear every single thought out of your head. It's really, really hard. Harder than burpees. But if you can do it, please do it right. I'm going to shut up for 30 seconds. Just have a go. Deep breath in. Okay, now if you can continue doing that, stay where you are, turn my video off and stay where you are. But I highly recommend practicing meditation every day. Okay, that's it. Um, yeah, it might have been boring that last minute if you used to all the high, might, might have been boring if you used to all the high energy, but getting that balance is really important. I've always got loads of energy. I love training, I love running, I love lifting weights and punching and all these things. But the other side of things is, um, you know, stretching, relaxing, taking time and looking after yourself. Um, I, I'm always saying how important stretching is for your body. Um, it's also good for your mind, but I'm a big fan of meditation as well, and I'm not great at it myself, but I'm practicing it every day. And it's equally as important, 
Equally as important as exercise, I'm going to say, because it is, it clears your mind. I don't want anybody getting stressed. It helps with stress. Keep practicing it as much as you practice your exercise. And I promise you will um, really will benefit from it. Okay, on that note, I'm going to slowly get up onto my feet. I'm going to leave you all to your Sunday, whatever you may be doing. And I'm back here again, 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll be full of energy then. Have a relaxing day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.